the whole nature of employment is going to change. There aren't manufacturing jobs coming back. There aren't more coal mining jobs coming back. No matter what you do to the EPA, they are going to be, a lot of these jobs are going to be gone. Now, there, there's still physical things. If you do infrastructure, you can kind of, you know, buy some time, right, spend more, get temporary jobs to build roads, build bridges, which is all fine and good, right? I think you can get a return on much of those things. But you, we, you're going to have to recognize that there could be more people out of work. So, you know, through this innovation. Yeah. So essentially what you made the case for is is education and job training for grown-ups. No, 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 I think that won't matter. Right. What are you going to go back and learn to do? What it takes, right? I mean, whether it's whether it's finance, whether it's software oh, programming. Finance, that's the easiest thing. You just take the data and have it spit out whatever you need, right? You, I, I personally think there's going to be a greater demand in 10 years for liberal arts majors than there were for programming majors and maybe even engineering because when the data is all being spit out for you, you or you know options are being spit out for you, you need a different perspective in order to have a different view of the data. And so having someone who's more of a freer thinker and you know because.